Sandy's Deli is opening its doors one last time on Friday. After three years, Sandra Rodriguez, the owner of the restaurant, has been forced to shut down. Sandy's Deli operates along a 150-meter stretch of the George Price Highway leading to the Hawksworth Bridge. She says that business has been extremely slow since May when the bridge was closed for renovation. It has been very challenging because then right now we can meet the rent. Sometimes in guess on days we only sell like $100 worth for the day. And that even cost, um, cover what, what we spend during the day for buying the things. Um. So it's very challenging and plus sometimes, you know, you have to pay the staff, the, um, the staff you have to pay your trade license. Uh, you can't come up with that right now since the bridge. The plight of businesses like Sandy's Deli prompted other business owners to come together to form the Santa Elena Business Association. It is led by Nolberto Rancharan. Since the 3rd of May when the bridge was officially closed, um, I think the whole idea of the closure of the bridge wasn't actually thought out thoroughly because it, well, it was done for the traffic reasons, but in the business side of it, it really put a dent on the activity here and this stretch of the road, right? And that was what triggered the birth of the Santa Elena Business Association. The first move was to request that the low-lying bridge, which connects Santa Elena to San Ignacio, be turned into a two-way bridge. Mayor Earl Trapp agreed and gave the order. I've been very much concerned because of the different complaints from the businesses in that area that they have been nose diving. And that hence the reason we decided to allow the low lying bridge as a two way, especially for small vehicles. Um, since um, it was only a one way before, then there weren't traffic in that area. So this allowed traffic to go in that area. And um, it has certainly improved the, the business, but not to, not to the extent that the businesses would were, were, were expecting. With the new traffic regulations, motorists traveling from San Ignacio must now make a right turn off the low-lying bridge. This route takes them to an intersection near the Hawksworth Bridge that diverts traffic into the affected areas. In addition, the association is planning a business expo for Saturday. It's going to start from 9 in the morning and up to 5 by 6. Everybody should leave, right? But we are expecting to see raffles, a lot of foods, and a lot of gives away. And these people that are coming, they're also coming to support us here in Santa Elena from since uh, we have been a little down in the different businesses area, the establishment here from Santa Elena. So we all have come together and we are joined hands and we are helping each other. And the businesses here in Santa Elena from Mr. Max Studio going down to the Social Security is going to be the area where the expo is going to be happening. All the activities are going to be happening here. Don't, don't um, be afraid to come out. We want you to come out and bring your entire family. It's been a pretty much a challenging amount of months for us, but um, you know, thankfully you know, we're resilient and uh, along with the, the Santa Elena Business Association, um, uh, you know, conducting different types of programs for us to try to help boost up the business in the area. I think has been a positive thing for, for, for us as well as the area that we're in. We're actually planning uh, really some very nice uh, promotions coming, you know, this Saturday. Of course, everyone is invited. Um, but yes, uh, we will be having a 1020 sale. So that's uh, up to 10% off on cash. But it's going to be pretty much more than that. There is, however, one issue that the Business Association stayed clear of addressing. That is the cost of police security for Saturday's event. The association wrote to the Belize Police Department requesting four officers for the expo. They have since been informed that four is insufficient. As a result, the department is sending additional officers reportedly at a cost of over $3,000. Mayor Trapp contends that the department needs to strike a compromise, given the hard times these businesses are facing. This is something, Mr. Lopez, that I've been very much concerned about, and hence the reason I've been saying to the relevant authorities, mainly the, 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 the police in charge in San Ignacio and Santa Elena, we have to learn to give and take. It's a collaboration between the community and the police. Because many times the police would come to the community and say, you know what, um, we don't have these resources in our office. We need a microwave. 
We need flashlights, we need gas, we need diesel, we need different things. But if you need and you expect the community will give you, then you can give back to the community by providing security. You know, like for example, especially at a function, I'm diverting a little bit, especially when you have a, an event that is a non, for non-profit organization and something um, that has no alcohol seal. My God, at the least, the police should provide police free of charge to at least just patrol the area. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.